Hi, my name's Tom Daly, and today I'm going to draw my life. I was born on the 21st of May 1994 in Derford Hospital, and apparently the midwife thought I'd be a water baby because I had big hands and big feet. I guess the whole water thing started when I was about four because my parents always thought what would happen if I got chucked into the sea and I couldn't swim. So I started to learn how to swim and it all kind of started from there. I started diving at the age of seven. It was pretty much luck. I went to a local pool, saw people diving on the diving boards and I just thought I'd give it a go. I didn't really think about it too much as a, a serious sport at the beginning. For me, it started off as an, an after-school club, really. I had a relatively normal school life. I went to St Edward's Primary School and then I went to secondary school and I made some of my best friends that I still have today uh, at that school. But things kind of took a little turn when I went to the Olympic Games and things started to, to get a little bit out of hand. I guess people were a little bit nasty, some of the comments and all that kind of stuff. And I guess I didn't really have as thick a skin then as I do now and I've learned to kind of ignore lots of things but it got sorted out and I ended up moving to Plymouth College. One of the hardest things that I guess most athletes that go to the Olympics don't have to uh, contend with is going to school full time. I still had to go to school, I still had to get my grades because I mean what would happen if I fell over or got run over by a bus? What was going to happen? I wouldn't be able to dive anymore so I had to get myself some kind of education. I knew it kind of got serious when I had to make the decision of which sport I wanted to do. I chose diving and when I started going away on my first trips, I mean some of those things are something that I would never even been able to dream of. Uh, to go away to some of the places like Australia I went to when I was 10 years old and it was one of those amazing experiences. That's where the National Lottery comes in because without their support I would never have been able to afford all these different places for, for competitions because it's expensive flying around the world. Ever since I started diving, my dad had been to every single training session, every competition, no matter where it was, he was always there. He was, had a massive flag that he used to wave. But, I mean, it was one of the hardest experiences of my life in 2011 when I lost my dad to a brain tumour. It was, you know, incredibly tough on all of the family. But for me, it gave me a massive motivational kick because it was always my dream to win an Olympic medal. But it was a dream that we wanted to carry on as a family to get to the Olympics and get one of those medals around my neck because it was something we'd worked so hard for. So my dad had a massive impact and has always been my inspiration ever since. Leading into London 2012, it had always been something that I dreamed of. Ever since I was nine years old, when I first drew a little picture in one of my medal books of me doing a handstand with the Olympic rings that said London 2012 and for me it had always been a dream to compete in London in front of a home crowd at an Olympic Games and when I was actually able to stand on that board see the Olympic rings on the bottom of the pool and dive to win a bronze medal I was just so over the moon and I guess you could probably tell by the fact that me and all my teammates jumped into the pool and celebrated as if we had just won the lottery. It was one of those experiences that I will just never ever forget and I was obviously so happy that my mum and my brothers were there but I would have loved my dad to have been able to see it but it was just one of those things that I will never ever forget. 2014 was also an awesome year. Going into the Commonwealth Games um, I was able to come away with a gold medal in the individual event but still to this day my ultimate dream has not ever yet been achieved and that is to win an Olympic gold medal and Rio 2016 is the next opportunity that I'm going to get to be able to fight for that medal and I'm going to give it everything I've got to be in the best possible shape I can because I would love to come away with an Olympic gold medal around my neck. Thanks for watching me draw my life and a special thank you to National Lottery players. Without your support, athletes like myself wouldn't be able to do what we do. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more athlete videos and I'll see you in Rio.